What's going on guys, Juice Massey here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today as we Tuesday the 29th of January, got confirmed us to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you can show your support by leaving a like rating, I'd be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the bell notification next to it so never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box and finally in the comment section below, with there being just a few days left in this transfer window, who do you want your club to sign? Right then, let's jump into the very first player of the day and I don't think he's on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team for some reason and that is going to be Sacco. He's rejoined Crystal Palace from West Brom, it's a free transfer and he's on a 6 month contract. And now we have got a Chinese striker called Wu Li. He joined Espanyol in Spain from Shanghai SIPG in the Chinese Super League for an undisclosed fee. In fact, he was a top scorer in the CSL last season with 27 goals. I signed a contract until 2022. And I'm going to be interested to see how well he does because we're used to seeing players go from the European leagues to the CSL, not the other way around. And now we have a former Barcelona player being Afalai, and he's now officially a free agent. Stoke City confirmed yesterday's contract has been terminated by mutual consent, so he's free to join another team. And I know there have been quite a few players that have gone from Barca to another team and really haven't like, lived up to their potential. And Afalai, he's in that category. Italian fullback Scalotto is up next. I apologize if I said his name wrong, by the way. But he has joined Chievo from Brighton on loan for the rest of the season. Another loan this time going from the Prem to the Serie A is going to be Cedric. The Portuguese right back has joined Inter Milan from Southampton, a loan deal for £450,000 plus a £9.5 million option to buy in the summer window. And two more loan deals for the rest of the season. First one is going to Sanabria. He's joined Genoa from Real Betis in Spain and I'm assuming that's a replacement for Piontek who went to AC Milan. And the other loan deal is Jelson Martins leaving Atletico Madrid already after just six months there or eight months now and he's joined Monaco. Newcastle are also said to be interested in signing him but he's chosen to go to Ligue 1. And for Monaco right now, they're in a very weird situation. And now we have got yet another young talent from the Premier League potentially going to the Bundesliga. So according to the Telegraph today, they said Schalke have agreed an £11.3 million fee with Man City for 18 year old forward Rabi Matondo. And the announcement for the transfer is expected in the next few days. And Build in Germany is saying the same thing that a price has been agreed between the two clubs but City are looking for a buyback option. And a player linked to City from Schalke now is going to Sebastian Rudi. At Corner Sky Sports Germany, they're saying City have been told they must pay £35 million if they want to sign the midfielder. I believe it was a couple years ago he joined Bayern on a free transfer that went to Schalke. So Schalke could make quite a bit of money if they do get a 35 mil. And now according to NTV Sport, they're saying Ricardo Quaresma is set to leave Besiktas for a move to Porto. The Portuguese winger is set to end his contract with the Turkish club following a meeting with the club leadership on Sunday. It would be a free transfer if it was to happen and he's played for Porto twice already from 2004 until 2008 and 2014 to 15. And he wouldn't be the only player returned to Porto from Besiktas because a couple weeks ago of course Pepe returned. And now according to reports in Germany and Spain, they're saying Atletico Madrid have targeted Leipzig defender Upe Meccano to replace Godin in the summer. The 20 year old centre back has caught the attention of Europe's top teams due to his performances for the Bundesliga side, with Manchester United, Liverpool and Bayern said to be interested. But again, like I mentioned before, Atletico, it looks like Godin is going to Inter Milan a free transfer and they see the young Frenchman as a replacement. And you can already see it for FIFA 20 if it was to happen, that link between him, either Umtiti or Varane, that'd be so overpowered. A short one on Sky Sports is that Eintracht Frankfurt are in talks to sign Reese Oxford from West Ham at a rate to pay £8 million for the 20 year old defender. He did play briefly for Borussia Mönchengladbach in the Bundesliga about 18 months or so ago um, and for some reason West Ham called him back and I don't believe he got game time when he came back. And I say it over and over again but in the space of about a year or 18 months we have a lot of English talent going to the Bundesliga and it's just a good thing for our national team. And another one from Sky Sports, this time linking a player to West Ham um, is going to Sheffield United midfielder John Fleck for a £4 million fee. AS Monaco manager Leonardo Jardim wants to get rid of Euro Tielemann. George Mendes, who's an agent, is seeking to orchestrate a swap deal between Leicester City, including Adrian Silva, and also get Tielemann going to Leicester. 
That was according to GFFN, and Sky Sports are saying the same thing, that Leicester want to sign the Belgian midfielder for around £20 million. And according to Het Newsblad, they're saying Manchester United and Barca and AC Milan also want the midfielder. And now we have one of the world's best talents in regards to defenders, if not the biggest talent right now, that is going to be delicted from Ajax. So according to Tutto Sport in Italy, they're saying Juventus have identified the defender as their top defensive target for the summer. But Juve obviously won't be their own team interested because a couple days ago, there's a lot of interest there from Barca. And alongside those two, you have got the likes of Man City and also Paris Saint-Germain. And speaking about PSG, according to La 10 Sport, they're saying Paris Saint-Germain have had a 20 million euro bid for Renato Sanchez, rejected by Bayern Munich. There were rumours a couple days ago saying that Bayern wanted 15 million more than PSG wanted to pay. So for 35 mil, that could be the deal they could go for. And a player that has already signed for by this January transfer window, but will go for the summer window instead, is Benjamin Pavard. And according to France Football, Bayern will not give up on fast tracking the transfer of the defender to this month. They said to offer 50 million euros now instead to make that happen. Now Stuttgart have technically replaced them already, so for the extra 15 million euros, they could be tempted by that. Leeds are hopeful of signing Swansea winger Daniel James, but have to increase their bid of £3 million for 21 year old Welshman. That's according to the Yorkshire Evening Post. And even more rumours regarding Paris Saint Germain now, the very first one is according to Sky Sports News and many other outlets. They're saying PSG have made a £21.5 million bid for Adrissa Gay. The player is keen to make the move, however, Everton, they're saying the midfielder is not for sale and they're expected to turn down the offer. RMCSA and PSG intend to come back with a second offer for the midfielder, and as for Everton, they want Thomas Munier included in any potential deal. And now we have got quite a few stories about Adrian Rabiot's future away from Paris Saint-Germain, as he's refusing to sign a new contract, but many teams are interested. The first story is according to L'Equipe, and they're saying PSG midfielder Rabiot has formally informed Tottenham he's not interested by their offer. And they do go on to say he remains in discussions with Liverpool, Bayern Munich, Chelsea and Barca about signing for free in the summer. And Parish United are saying the same thing, that he was very hesitant about joining Tottenham and if he was to come to the Premier League, he thought it would be to join Liverpool. And that was after Spurs made a £20 million bid for him and after they guaranteed him a first team spot. And now an interesting one according to Carlson Mercato is that Liverpool have opened talks with Sandro Tonali, a young Italian midfielder from Brescia. Liverpool have sent scouts to watch him in many matches this season and Brescia are seeking 35 million euros. Now I can't say I've ever seen him play and the fact he does play in the Serie B, of course 35 million is a lot of money. And literally the only thing I know about him really is that on FIFA Ultimate Team or head to head sorry, he's got 90 potential. France Football are reporting that Arsenal have made an approach for Napoli French right back Kevin Malqui. That's as they seek to react to Hector Bellerin's recent injury that will keep the Spaniard out until the end of the season. Now Arsenal leaving it very very late because as of right now obviously not many days left to sign anyone and because they're not willing to pay money to get people on a permanent transfer they've got to rely on loans. And next up according to the Daily Star they're sent Inter Milan are interested in signing Meza Ozil but they want Arsenal to pay for half his wages in any deal if it is to be completed. And that's the thing with Mesut Ozil right now, because of course on his day he can be a world class playmaker, one of the best in the world. But when he's not playing, he's earning like £350,000 a week. And next up according to L'Equip, they're saying Dalian Yifang have made a €40 million Euro offer for Borussia Mönchengladbach forward player. The contract on offer for the Frenchman is described as astronomical, it's a 5 year deal. And Dalian Yifang is still seeking to get rid of Yannick Carrasco and intend for player to replace him. The Chinese club's next bid is set to be worth more than 50 million euros. At that point, Gladbach will likely sell. And now we have got a confirmed deal, and this transfer was expected to be completed a few days ago as Alvaro Morata joined Atletico Madrid. It's from Chelsea on a loan deal for 18 months, and Paris costs about £9 million for a loan fee. And there is an option to buy there for £48.5 million if they decide to do so. So, in my opinion, for all parties involved, for Chelsea, Atletico, and the player, it's good for everyone. It really didn't work out for him at Chelsea so they can get rid of him. And honestly, for a total fee of about 57 mil, it's not too bad. And for Atletico, they get a transfer target. And for the player himself, Morata, it's a fresh start. 
And now we have got a few updates regarding Perisic and a potential move to Arsenal. So the Inter director yesterday said Perisic has asked to leave the club, there's no offer for him. We'll see in the coming days. He has put in a transfer request, we must try to satisfy him but also respect his value. Whereas Sky Sports are saying Arsenal have offered £4.4 million to sign him alone and the option to buy in the summer is 34.5 mil. And by the looks of things it does seem that Inter want to sell him now on a permanent basis rather than alone with the option to buy. And a short one according to Marco in Spain is that Real Madrid left back Marcelo has asked for a move away from the Spanish Giants. That's because he wants to rejoin out with Cristiano Ronaldo at Juventus. But that guys is going to be it for this video. So as always, if you enjoyed it and enjoyed transfers, make sure to show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box. Our current schedule every day at 8am UK time is a new transfer video. And today's question of the day, with just a few days left in this transfer window, who do you want your club to sign? Let it down below. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.